Hello everyone. I am at the 2020 Stanford undergrad graduation. This is my second graduation ceremony, even though I only have one degree. So I kind of like hacked my way into here. Um, I'll explain how that happened later. But I have I have the X plush. See this? Hey, Zach's in his basket right now, in his bag right now. I'm gonna be at the Stanford Stadium. Um, yeah, because last time I brought Fire You, but this time it's gotta be, it's gonna be more characters. Basically, Stanford's class of 2020 didn't get to have a graduation ceremony because the COVID-19 pandemic shut down all public events by the time they finished their academics in June 2020. Afterward, most of these graduates moved to other parts of the country to start their working careers at companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, etc. They essentially had to leave their college world behind with no grand finale signifying closure. By 2021, Stanford was able to cautiously host a small ceremony for the next class, but only them. So, with pandemic pandemic restrictions lifting slightly by 2022, Stanford figured it was just the right time to invite the class of 2020 back for a sort of delayed graduation ceremony that also served as a two-year class reunion. And the class of 2022 also had their graduation ceremony the same weekend. Now, the million dollar question is this. Do I, Carrie Huang, count as a class of 2020 graduate? The answer is up for debate, and I'll talk about that more later in this video. In the meantime, let's just watch the funny, wacky walk that Stanford students do. Come on. Okay, right now, <laughs> all the Stanford graduates are about to walk onto the field for the Wacky Walk. Carrie, what's the Wacky Walk? Oh, the Wacky Walk is, actually I don't know what the formal definition is, but like all the graduates just get to show off like these silly costumes, except I don't really have a costume. I guess I have these Pikachu ears, um, but I, oh wait, do you want to squeeze them? Or, or I guess you can hold the camera. I'll hold it while you can okay, squeeze okay. your Pikachu okay. ears, Carrie. So, I'm Pikachu! Oh my god! I'm gonna graduate soon! <laughs> and you then I also graduated! Brought, oh, yeah, I graduated like two and a half years ago, uh, but I technically qualified for a class of 2020 because it was like January 1st, 2020. Um, so, I feel like I kind of have a right to be here, but I also have these plushies. So, for an X. They're gonna get to see what the Stanford Stadium looks like! Hooray! I can't voice this guy, so... I'm, I'm the only one speaking for... You have to stay silent. Goodbye! We're gonna walk to the field. I guess they're not walking now, so we have to wait a little longer. Yeah, and, and thank you for the camera work, Joseph. You're welcome. Do I just give this back to you Oh yeah, now? I guess I should take it back, yeah. That's fun, fun song. Hi everyone, so I'm recording this section of the video a couple days later, long after the commencement ceremony has ended. But I just wanted to get on the internet to the official Stanford website because there's some fun things you can find here. It's at commencement.stanford.edu and if you scroll down to the section that says 2020 commencement ceremony, there's a YouTube video. And I think this is like a live stream of when they actually like had cameras set up on the field where everyone was walking out. And I did find a little bit of footage of myself but it's extremely short and fast and not very glamorous looking. So there's me. I'm holding the foreign X plushies, and later, after we cut back to like footage from the actual day, you'll see what it was like from that moment, because I was recording the whole thing. But yeah, it's just <laughs> kind of weird, because I'm also wearing those Pikachu ears, but the blue and yellow... Wait, those are cow colors. I didn't even realize I'm like promoting our rival school. Not that that really matters. It's just a fun rivalry. Um, but yeah, four necks are blue and yellow. So I'm walking by there, and then a couple seconds later... Okay, so I guess they focus on this track more than the other track. I think I see there I am on the on the left side of the screen as well. There might be more footage of me somewhere, but this is a like two hour long live stream, so I don't want to scrub through too much more of it, right? Because in this class of 2020, I think there are thousands of students. Anyway, so if you go back to the main website, then there's also this link that says 2020 degrees conferred which sends you to this PDF that is literally a list of every student in the class of 2020 who received a degree. And I'm kind of impressed that they have one document that has all these names. You know, when I first went to college, I thought there was a chance that I could get to know every classmate in my class, but that's just not possible given how many departments there are and how many students there are in each department. So 
Like, if you just keep scrolling, it just keeps going on and on. There's no way I... I, I probably know, like, 1% of these people. Uh, but congratulations to all of them, because they finished their academics two years ago, and they didn't get celebrated until just now. Anyway, I think I'm on page 15 or 16. So if we keep... Oh, here I am. Carrie Kaming Huang. That's my full name. Yes. That's where the Carrie KH comes from. It's been revealed. Whatever. Um, but what I think is funny is that you can see that I'm in the section of Bachelor of Science Degrees Conferred January 9th, 2020. And this is under School of Engineering, and the dean is Jennifer Widom. I actually didn't know that Jennifer was our dean, but I guess she is, so thank you for deaning. The story is, you know, I started college in 2015, and I was supposed to graduate in 2019, but I took an extra quarter because I wanted to study abroad in Japan, which I did, and you know, there's some Japan videos on Humany from that time period. So because I took an extra quarter, I technically didn't finish all my requirements to graduate until the very end of 2019. And I guess because there's some logistical work to get the, the diplomas out, I didn't actually receive a diploma until January 9th, 2020. So I think it's funny because I got to walk at 2019's graduation ceremony before the pandemic started. And then I, I also qualify in class of 2020. But there was no graduation ceremony in summer 2020 because of the pandemic, and so we had to wait two years for it. But yeah, I got one degree and two ceremonies, which I think is a really good ratio. Some people got two degrees and one ceremony, so that's the opposite ratio. Oh, I, I see some people here that I know. I'm not going to like name drop them because that's like an invasion of privacy, but I do see some names here that I recognize. Most people graduate in... June, which makes sense because that means that's the end of the school year. I don't really think that I deserve any um, accolades because I already got those three years ago. But to everyone who who walked at this graduation ceremony and it was their first time walking, congratulations to them. Also, I'm not class of 2022, so like that they had their own ceremony. I think the day before or the day after. This page is for the entire student body of Stanford, but this page is specifically for the computer science department, which I guess I'm part of. So this is more fine-tuned. And this is for the classes of 2020, which again is me through some loophole of the dates, as well as 2021 and 2022. So there are a lot of students. And there's some like rules here, which are not super interesting. But if you scroll down again, there are the CS commencement 2022 program list. And this is also a list of names. And I guess if you search my name, it'll be here too. Yeah, there I am. What are these symbols? Um, well, th there's me, but I see like symbols, like a star and four dots. Maybe that, that means oh, honors in the major and distinction. I did not get honors or distinction because I do the bare minimum. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Try your hardest in school. But don't try to do the bare minimum like me. Oh, I, I see names here that I rec recognize as well. Let's cut back to footage from the day of the ceremony, June 11th, 2022, when I was walking on stage or on the field. There is no stage. Or there was a stage, but I wasn't on it. Um, so you can see Foreign X and their reaction to being on the football field. Again, congratulations to all my classmates for getting through four plus years of schooling. Um, and this is definitely not a typical ceremony because, you know, you had two years of post-college life, whether that's through grad school or through working at a company. Like you came back afterwards with like a reunion, a two-year reunion of sorts. Okay, I'm, I've been talking too long. Let's go back to the footage.
Okay, my dad said he has on his on the left. I, I don't know. <laughs> smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Also, walk faster. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep up. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we don't actually get that much time. My parents. I, I feel like... Help, I need my dad. I'm not I, I know, I know. It's, it's like no one's here to guide me. But like we only got like 30 seconds in front of them. Hey, we'll walk around the back. Oh, that's true, that's true. They could have told us like this is where, gonna, where we're going to put you, but that's okay too. Yeah, I think like they were, you know, rushed to manage thousands of students, so they didn't know what to do either. They had like months to plan this. I know, but they had three times as many students to manage. But yeah, I guess they did a lot of time. Anyway, I guess I saw a piece of Stanford right there. Oh, I guess it's kind of big, but honestly, the sun's really hot right now. So I think I'm gonna go back inside. Wait, where is inside? I know where it is. Oh no, there's no houses. I have to stay out here. I'm kind of embarrassing myself right now. That's okay. That's okay. You do it for the vlog. Yeah. The vlog is for embarrassing yourself. We did it, yeah. We did it! Yeah, we graduated. We did it! Woo! We did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you feel the thrill or do you feel like it's like a two-year-old thrill? You know, it, it's, it's, it's happening. It's hitting me. Yeah. Also, why are all the Stanford track and field people here on Planet of Stanford? They're gonna compete. They're gonna, they're gonna like, give us the diploma by running to us. I'm okay with that. Right, yeah. Oh, we don't have designated rows, right? I think we just follow people in. Yeah. Yay. I'm going to try to get these characters in front of as many videos as possible. It's okay. Wait, are your parents here? Yeah, they're here. I just don't know where they are. It's because too, too many people are wearing the same color. Ugh. Thank you. Woo! Oh yeah, we're like on row two. Okay, well, I did it. I graduated a second time, I guess. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video now because a lot is going on right now. See you later.